O Gabriel, chosen child of Christ, we magnify the Lord who hath glorified thee. We praise thee with love and him thy blameless innocence and honored sufferings, for foreordained from thy mother's womb and united to a calling on high, as a pure nestling in the heavens make entreaty for us that we may cry to thee. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child of most pure. As a child who had done naught that was vile, thou wast shown to be a radiant angel on earth, O Gabriel, wherefore Christ, taking thee from the earth, opened unto thee the gates of heaven, numbering thee among the elect, with whom thou dost unceasingly praise the all-holy trinity. Therefore thou hearest us on earth, chanting to thee such things as these. Rejoice, fragrant vessel of angelic purity. Rejoice, all wondrous scion of thy pious parents, Peter and Anastasia. Rejoice, adornment of children. Rejoice, ornament of the innocent. Rejoice, for thy life was sinless. Rejoice, for thy death was precious in the sight of the Lord. Rejoice, thou who loving the cross of Christ in thy childhood despaired. Rejoice, thou who hast been vouchsafed to behold the ineffable glory of God in heaven. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. Seeing the constant rebellion of hard-hearted men against him, Christ called the O little child, O Gabriel, to be a right victorious warrior of heaven. Thus with the streams of thy most pure blood, thou didst cut down the ungodless of those who fought against God, and didst put them to shame, that seeing the mighty works of God, and the mighty works wrought in our church by thee, we may majestically chant unto God, who is glorified in Trinity. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Possessed of a mind rendered sick by the slaying of Christ, thy tormentor seized thee by deception when thy parents were away from their house for a little time. O Gabriel, and he took thee away to the city of Bailath, Bailatsk, ravening to stake, ravening to s s slake his thirst on thy pure blood like a rabid beast. And when thou didst lie drained of blood and dead, the tormentors dragged thy body out to a field of green wheat near a village, and like beasts cast thee forth. Wherefore, marveling at such a feat in thy suffering, we cry to thee. Rejoice, meek with victim of those who murdered in secret. Rejoice, thou who didst endure terrible tortures. Rejoice, thou who showed forth in thyself the sufferings of Christ. Rejoice, thou who was sent by the Lord to reprove errors. Rejoice, confirmation of the faith. Rejoice, an extinguishable beacon of the church. Rejoice, for thou hast been numbered among the choirs of the martyrs. Rejoice, for by thy torments the heavenly Father hath been glorified. Rejoice, O my groom, martyr of Christ and child most pure. Stretched out upon a cross, yet strengthened by the power of the Most High, O most pure martyr, Thou didst find rest in the tabernacles of heaven, having rebuked those who beastily shed thy blood and wounded thou their outrageous ungodliness. Rejoice, O thou who with all passion bears, dost chant to God the hymn of victory. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Having the skies as a shelter, and the green meadow as a bed of rest. O godly child, thou didst lie three days without burial, unknown to all, 
flocks of carrion fowl, and with them a multitude of ravenous dogs, surrounded thy immaculate body, yet dared not touch it, for wise dogs stood guard over thy body to fend off the birds of prey, and understanding this to be a sign from God, we say, Rejoice, God-loving child of Christ, Rejoice, fulfillment of the wondrous design of God. Rejoice, thou whom the Son of God desired. Rejoice, thou who shed in the ways of the holy and righteous. Rejoice, pure fledgling who was taken into the nest of heaven. Rejoice, tender shoot of the tree of paradise. Rejoice, effulgence of heavenly splendors. Rejoice, radiant star shining in the celestial firmament. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. A storm of agitation besetting us, O young passion bearer, when we think upon thy cruel death and gaze upon the supernatural miracle made manifest in thee. For though as a child in body, by thy patience amid suffering, Thou didst show thyself to be a mature man. Wherefore, pondering in mind the struggle of thy suffering, we chant unto him who gave thee strength. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hearing from the inhabitants of the village of Zer Zversky, that their child had been found having lain dead for three days in an open field. Thy parents went, and bewailing thine untimely end, bore thy precious body to the churchyard, and buried it near the church of that same village. And with all their fellow Orthodox Christians, they were stricken with horror by the inhuman malfaction of the evil doers, and marveling at thy patience, we praise thy sufferings and cry out with compunction. Rejoice, tender branch, which had no share in worldly pleasures. Rejoice, thou who wast deprived of the good things of earth, that thou mightest be shown to partake of those of heaven. Rejoice, thou who was slain when six years of age. Rejoice, thou who was made thine abode in the eternal kingdom. Rejoice, thou whose untimely demise troubled the inmost parts of thy parents. Rejoice, for their sorrow was transformed into great joy. Rejoice, for thou didst show thyself to the Master as one righteous. Rejoice, emulator of the sufferings of Christ. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. In the world thou wast a divinely guided star, resplendent in angelic purity. O Gabriel, blessed child, wherefore thou now shinest in the heavens with everlasting glory among the choirs of the righteous, with whom we unceasingly cry out to Christ, the King of Glory, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Seeing the angelic purity of thy heart, the meekness and innocence wherein thou didst repose as a martyr, O Gabriel, God glorified thee among his saints, for he truly showed forth an all-glorious miracle. After thirty years thy body was found to be incorrupt, Closing a fountain of healings for all who have recourse to thee with faith. Wherefore, accept from us this praise. Rejoice, receptacle of grace. Rejoice, thou who hast filled us with the greatest joy in the corruption of thy relics. Rejoice, wellspring of wondrous healings. Rejoice, for the Lord of hosts revealed wondrous things in thee. Rejoice, thou who confounded the unbelief of the God-haters. Rejoice, thou who by thine own blood has confirmed the right faith. Rejoice, thou who has entered into the joy of thy Lord. Rejoice, our advocate before God. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. 
the Orthodox Church of Christ glorifieth the sufferings, wounds, and torments endured by thee for God, O martyr Gabriel, for the sake of which the Lord hath wondrously glorified thee, and reveal thine incorrupt body to the land of Bialotsk, that we might cry out with compunction, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A new miracle shone forth upon us, revealing the mystery of divine providence. When the church of Zerbsky perished in a, fella, in a fiery conflagration, yet thy holy relics preserved in their shrine were found to be intact. Marveling at this with faith and a pure heart, we exclaim unto thee, O glorious martyr Gabriel. Rejoice thou who fulfilled in thyself the word of God, that, that the Lord preserveth the bones of the righteous. Rejoice thou who didst confirm the word of Christ God, that not a hair of thy head shall be perish. Rejoice, spiritual treasure, making the faithful rich. Rejoice thou who dost gladness with joyous trust in the promises of the Savior. Rejoice thou who art rightly beloved of the angels in heaven and men on earth. Rejoice, thou who movest the Creator to mercy by thy supplications. Rejoice, thou who art chosen by God. Rejoice, heart proclaiming the glory of the author of creation. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. The Lord who loveth mankind, desiring to reveal in thee a model of the edification of men, O Gabriel, showed thee to be a passion bearer who halted the onslaughts of the blasphemers of God, that we may emulate the virtues wherein thou shinest and may inherit the kingdom of heaven, chanting unto God, who is wondrous in his providence. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thou wast shown to be a new and all radiant lamp, not hidden under a bushel, but set upon the lampstand of the Church of Christ, and glorified by God, O holy Gabriel, dispersing the darkness and mightily vanquishing the adversaries of Christ, those who make war on God, wherefore we chant to thee thus in hymns. Rejoice thou who didst endure many tribulations at the hand of thy torturers. Rejoice thou who didst triumph over their malice and wiles. Rejoice thou who teaches us to preserve the right faith in the true God who is worshipped in Trinity. Rejoice thou who directest our steps to the path of salvation. Rejoice thou who didst receive a multitude of wounds for Christ God who was pierced. Rejoice for him, thou art glorified in heaven. Rejoice, honored glory of the Orthodox. Rejoice, for through thee the Lord hath visited our land. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. A stranger and all-glorious sign of the good pleasure of God is in the apparent to all who have recourse to thee, O Gabriel. For by the grace given thee, thou preservest from all perils those who petition thee with faith, and free, freest them from tribulations, and fulfillest their every request which is made with faith, teaching them to chant unto God, who is wondrous in his miracles. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Covered with wounds, stabbed, cut, and drained of thy blood, O Gabriel, thou didst surrender thy righteous soul into the hands of God, finding rest from thy sufferings, having had no share in the evils of life and the griefs of earth, and pondering this righteous repose in God, with compunction we offer thee these words. Rejoice, thou who wast innocent in thy repose, 
Rejoice thou whom the angels bore aloft to the bosom of Abraham. Rejoice thou who with glory attained unto the mansions of paradise. Rejoice thou who art crowned by the Lord with the crown of immortality. Rejoice, good follower of Christ God. Rejoice for the inheritance of thy childhood is the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice for thy memory is most sweet to all the faithful. Rejoice for thy commemoration shall be from generation to generation. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. Every mortal is moved to pity on hearing of thy tortures, O meek martyr, and honor thy sufferings. And the Orthodox Church glorifieth thy martyrdom, and joineth choirs in thy holy name, chanting joyously, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The most eloquent of all readers who gaze with the eyes of carnal understanding upon the Creator's wisdom in designing the universe are at a loss as to why innocent babes suffer but marveling at this mystery, O holy Gabriel, we exclaim to thee, crying out, Rejoice, for thy sufferings are equal in honor to those of other righteous men. Rejoice, for in thy suffering of thy body thou wast crucified with him who suffered for us. Rejoice, effulgence of the wisdom of the Creator. Rejoice, divine providence of those born on earth. Rejoice, heavenly voice, calling all to the struggle of salvation. Rejoice, finger of God, pointing to the heavens. Rejoice, for thou offerest supplications for us to Christ the King. Rejoice, for thou makest entreaties for us before the throne of the Most High. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. Unto those who desire to be saved, thou dost in thy sufferings provide a model of virtue and how to walk the straight path to God. And as thou delightest now in the ineffable good things of heaven, be thou mindful of us who praise thy sufferings here on earth and chant unto God. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. O child Gabriel, thou art an unbreakable rampart for all who languish in tribulations and perils and call upon thee, for those who are sick and for mothers who grieve over their children. And thou givest comfort and consolation to them by thine intercession. Wherefore, for all the benefactions revealed to us, through thee we cry out, in thanksgiving. Rejoice, our mighty preserver. Rejoice, our ardent helper. Rejoice, heavenly protector of the young. Rejoice, good healer of sick and ailing children. Rejoice, speedy consoler of mothers who seek circuits of sorrow for their reposed offering. Rejoice, calmer of those troubled by adverse thoughts. Rejoice, instiller of purity of soul. Rejoice, favorite of God. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. The hymnody we offer thee, O Gabriel, does not suffice to praise thine all glorious struggles and suffering. Yet seeing our earnest intent, Mercifully accept these hymns we offer and free us from sins and perils that with a pure heart we may cry out to our Creator, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Illumined by the light of grace of God from thy mother's womb, thou didst ascend and corrupt to the light of the three hypostases before whom do thou intercede for our enlightenment? For this we pray, crying out to thee with compunction. Rejoice, radiant beam of the three sunlight, who giveth light to the world. 
Rejoice, fervor of the Spirit, warming our coldness. Rejoice, lamp, illumining our darkness. Rejoice, flame, enkindling faith, hope, and love within us. Rejoice, good work, fellow, for those who seek thine intercession before God. Rejoice, for thy supplication is able to accomplish much in his sight. Rejoice, ornament of the world on high. Rejoice, boast of the world below. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. O holy favorite of God, ask for us the divine grace which never faileth, but ever healeth, that it may teach us to emulate thee in angelic purity and guilelessness, that thou mayest direct our hearts towards fiery prayer and repentance, that it may preserve unharmed all who with love keep the commandments of Christ, that he may grant us a Christian end and vouchsafe us to behold the glory of God in the heavens, and to chant, to chant continually to the God, all holy trinity. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We hymn thy sufferings, O Gabriel. We glorify the guileless courage thou showed forth in thy young body, and we bless thy memory, for in thee was revealed the glory of Christ, the glory of the Orthodox Church. Wherefore, we cry out to thee with love. Rejoice, pure sacrifice, slain for the Master by us mortals. Rejoice, thou who glorify the Lord by thy sufferings. Rejoice, heir to eternal good things. Rejoice, grapes of the vineyard of Christ. Rejoice, our mighty ally against all enemies. Rejoice, mediator of eternal glory for us. Rejoice, right victorious warrior of Christ. Rejoice, preeminent preserver of children. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. O innocent Gabriel, martyr of Christ, a wondrous model of childlike innocence and meekness, accepting the unworthy hymnody of the, this little work, be thou for us a fervent advocate before the Lord, that we who are tempted tossed throughout our lives by lack of faith, by anger and hatred of our brethren, may in holy manner abide in faith, patience and love, and having thus passed our whole life, may be delivered from eternal torment and ever chant unto God, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O innocent Gabriel, martyr of Christ, O all wondrous model of, martyr, model of childlike innocence and meekness, accepting the unworthy hymnody of this little work, be thou for us a fervent advocate before the Lord, that we who are tempest-tossed throughout our lives by lack of faith, by anger and hatred of our brethren, may in holy manner abide in faith, patience, and love, and having thus passed our whole life, may be delivered from eternal torment, and ever chant unto God, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Innocent Gabriel, martyr of Christ, a wondrous model of childlike innocence and meekness, accepting the unworthy hymnody of this little work, be thou for us a fervent advocate before the Lord, that we who are tempted tossed throughout our lives by lack of faith, by anger and hatred of brethren, may in a holy manner abide in faith, patience and love, and having thus passed our whole life, may we be delivered from eternal torment, and ever chant unto God, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. As a child who has done naught that was vile, thou wast shown to be a radiant angel on earth, O Gabriel. Wherefore Christ, taking thee from the earth, opened unto thee the gates of heaven, numbering thee among the elect, the elect with whom thou dost unceasingly praise the all-holy trinity, 
Therefore thou hearest us on earth chanting these things, such as these. Rejoice, fragrant vessel of angelic purity. Rejoice, all wondrous Zion of thy parents, Peter and Anastasia. Rejoice, adornment of children. Rejoice, ornament of the innocent. Rejoice, for thy life was sinless. Rejoice, for thy death was precious in the sight of the Lord. Rejoice, for thou who, loving the cross of Christ in thy childhood, didst bear it. Rejoice, thou who hast been vouchsafed to behold the ineffable glory of God in heaven. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. O Gabriel, chosen child of Christ, we magnify the Lord who hath glorified thee. We praise thee with love, and him thy blameless innocence and honored sufferings. For ordained by thy mother's womb, and united to a calling on high, as a pure nestling in the heavens make entreaty for us, that we may cry to thee. Rejoice, O Gabriel, martyr of Christ and child most pure. O blessed Gabriel, preserver of childlike innocence, bearer of the martyr's courage, precious diamond of our land, denouncer of ungodliness, unto thee do we sinners flee in prayer, crushed by our sins and ashamed of our lack of faith. And we cry out to thee with love, as thou art a treasury of purity, disdain not our defiled state. And as a teacher of long suffering, despise not our lack of faith, but looking down from heaven upon these our weaknesses, by thy supplication, grant us the healing thereof, and teach us to emulate thy faithfulness to Christ. For though we are unable to bear the cross of temptations and the endurance of evils without complaint, yet deprive us not of thy prayerful aid, O favorite of God. But ask the Lord to grant us release and ease. Likewise, hearken unto mothers who pray for their children, and pray that the Lord grant health and salvation to their children. There is no heart so hard that it is not moved to pity on hearing of thy tortures, O holy child. And even though we are unable to offer any other good deed than some sigh of compunction, yet having enlightened our minds and hearts with such a compunctionate thought, guide us by the grace of God to the correction of our life, instill within us tireless zeal for the salvation of our soul and the glory of God, and keep us and help us to keep the memory of the hour of death continually before us. And when we fall into the sleep of death, by thine intercession, drive away from our souls the clamorings of the demons and thoughts of despair, and fill them with the hope of divine forgiveness, that we may unceasingly glorify loving kindness of the Father and the Son and the All Holy Spirit, and thy mighty aid unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all plenteous Lord Jesus Christ, who wast once even thyself a child, and who used to love and bless children, have mercy upon the children of our time, and save them, so that unbaptized children may be baptized, and so that baptized children may be strengthened both in their faith in thee, who art truth eternal, and in their love for thee, who art love ineffable. Save, O Lord, those children whom unbelieving parents corrupt with atheism and turn away from thee, their only Savior and salvation. Save, O seek, save, O all meek Lord, also those children whom evil teachers, without God or soul, alienate from thee, their creator, and turn into packs of dogs. Save, O Lord, also those children whose pure souls are defiled by all the immorality in the streets, in the theaters, and on television. Save them from the impurity 
of the streets and theaters and from every other impurity. Save, O all-merciful Lord, also those children who are orphans and have fallen into the hands of cruel guardians or bad stepfathers or stepmothers or those who are supposed to rear them but do not. Save them from hearing blasphemous words and from seeing malicious deeds. Save, O Son of God, the sons of the sons of men, whom the world tugs here and there into many physical trainings and occupations without giving them any training in thy holy law or training in proper thoughts, in truth and mercy, and in all deeds of goodness and righteousness. Help the children of this age, O Mighty One, O Almighty One, so that they may grow up and mature to divine sonship and heavenly citizenship for their eternal salvation and for thy glory and praise. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.